morning students my name is vivek tomar i am assistant professor in department of computer science and engineering at kite group of us so today we will be discussing this uh, very important algorithm that is lzw algorithm and we will see the uh, encoding and decoding in it so this would be the contents Uh, first of all, we'll see the introduction of LZW algorithm. Then uh, we'll see the encoding process and the decoding process of the same algorithm. If we look at the introduction of this algorithm, so as we have already covered the uh, previously, we have already covered LZ77 and LZ78 algorithm. So, like uh, those algorithm, this is also a lossless compression algorithm. then uh, it is the latest member of lz family of algorithm so basically it is a, a modification over lz78 so as as we already know that uh, l stand for uh, l and z are stands for the name of the researchers so l for uh, lempel and uh, z here stand for sieu similarly Uh, here W stands for Welch. Uh, why is so? Because uh, Harry Welch uh, has basically uh, done a modification, proposed a modification over LZ78 algorithm. That is why it is known. It is known as the latest uh, uh, member of the family, and it is known as LZW algorithm. Lempel, Sieu, Welch. And this I have already told you. This is a modification done by Harry Welch over the previous LZ78 algorithm. Now, uh, as we already know that uh, in LZ78, uh, during the encoding, we used to send uh, a doublet, which is having uh, two things. One is the index of the dictionary, and the other one is the code. Right? So, uh, in this modification, in this LZW algorithm. Uh, we need to send only one thing that is the index of the dictionary that is the uh, if you remember in lz77 we used to send a triplet then it got modified in lz78 78 we used to send a, a doublet so here we used to send only a single value and that is the index of the dictionary we will see that with the help of example also so This is already already we are going to send only the index to the receiver. And here uh, the dictionary has to be primed with all letters of source order. So initially we should have all the letters that are that are available in the alphabet. They should be present in the dictionary. And uh, whatever the input we are getting, that would be. Uh, Be accumulated at the encoder end, and it will be uh, contained in the dictionary. If it is, if uh, whatever the letter you are getting in the input stream, whatever the letter we are getting, if it is not there in the dictionary, then it will be concatenated with the with the existing pattern, and then it will be added to the dictionary. Okay. So what we are having, like if if we are having, let's suppose. Uh, some p is there and we are concatenating a with p so obviously it will become p concatenation a so what we will do we will as we know p is already there in the dictionary so we will send the index of p and let's say index is let's suppose 3 so we will send this 3 and this p concatenation a this will be added to the dictionary so this is how dictionary will gets updated in this lz Uh, let's take one example so this uh, this is the example of encoding so what we need to encode we are we are suppose we need to encode this pattern and we are having this initial dictionary obviously this dictionary will get updated right now how it will proceed see first uh, letter in the input string is double so what it will do it will check in the in the 
initial dictionary as we can see w is already there so in that case now we will take one more character into this one more letter into this so now we'll consider w and a why we are considering w and a because w is already there now see w and a is not there in the dictionary so what we will do as i have already told you we will send the index of w so index of w is 4 so we will send 4 and add this w a to the dictionary so next entry in the dictionary so index is 5 and the next entry will be w and a right now we'll move ahead so next we'll consider a now again a is already there in the dictionary so what we will do now we'll consider two letters that is a and b okay so these two we are considering a and b a and B is not there in the dictionary, so we will send the index of A. A ka index is what? We will send 1, right? And add this A, B to the dictionary. It will become 6 and here it will become A, B. So, this is how dictionary will get populated, right? Similarly, we will move ahead. Next is B. Okay? So, B is already there in the dictionary. What we will do, we will consider two letters that is uh, B, B, we will consider. Okay. Now, B, B is not there in the dictionary, so what we will we'll do, we will send the index of B. Index of B is what? 2. And add this B, B to the dictionary. So, dictionary, uh, in dictionary, next entry would be B, B at the index 7. Then, we will move ahead. We'll, next, we will again consider this B. This is already there, so we'll we we'll, now we'll consider two letters, two characters. So it will be B and A. B and A is not there in the dictionary, so we'll make the entry that is eight. Here it will be B A. And we'll send the index of P again, so it will be four one two. Next we'll consider A. Now A is already there. Okay, so we'll concatenate A with W. So, it will become AW which is not there in the dictionary. So, we will make an entry in the dictionary. So, it will become index 9. Entry will be AW. And we will send the index of A. That is what? 1. Right. Then we will move ahead. Now, see. Next is W. So, W is already there. So, we will consider W and A. Now, we can see W A is also there. So, here. We will we'll take one more character into it. So, it will become W A B. Getting my point? Why we are taking W A B? Because W is there, W A is there. So, now we will consider W A B. So, every time we are populating the dictionary. Right? So, W A B will make the entry as 10. That is W A B. And we will send the index of W A. Right? So, W A index is 5. So, it will become 5. Next, we will be having, now we will consider the last character. Whatever we have considered previously, we will consider only the last letter. So, again it is B. So, here you can see, now we are considering B. B is already there. Then, we will take two characters, B, B, which is also there. Now, we will take three characters, that is B, B, A. Now, B, B, A is not there. So, we will make one entry. B, a. And we will send the index of what? BB, which is 7. So, this is how uh, encoding will take place. So, uh, the dictionary will get populated, right? And as we are uh, getting the different inputs, so it will get populated. Now, see, next we will consider A, right? A is there, then we will consider W also. A W. A W is also there. Then we will take 3. So, it will take A W O. Now, see A W O is not there. So, we will make one entry as A W O. Okay. And we will send the index of A W. That is what? 9. Now, next is we will consider O. O is also O is already there. So, we will consider two characters. That is O O. O, o is not there in the dictionary, so we will we'll make one entry as 13 as O, o and we will send the index of O that is 3. Right. So, this is what 
this is the output of the encoder. The encoding we are getting this output. You can see, yes, we are getting this. Now, next process is decoding process. Now, suppose encoder has produced this output, and now we need to decode it at the decoder set. Now remember this thing in whether it is LZ, whether it is LZ77, LZ78 or LZ in any of the algorithm, the dictionary has to be maintained at both the ends, at the sender end, encoder end, as well as the receiver end. Similarly, in, in, in this LZ also, as, as we have already seen during the encoding process, we need to create one dictionary. We are creating a dictionary and then we are populating that dictionary. We are updating that dictionary, right? Same thing we'll do over here also. In decoding process also, the dictionary will get populated, right? So again, uh, this is the encoder output. And this is the initial dictionary. Initial dictionary is like uh, whatever, the number, whatever the letters we are having in the alphabet, that all letters should be there in the initial dictionary. So, or you can say like uh, this initial dictionary would be shared between the sender and the receiver. You can say encoder and the decoder, right? So again, we'll start with, now see, first index is 4. Now I can see here, he, against this index 4, what, what letter I am having? W. I'll get W here. Okay. Now here we are. If you look at the pattern, in pattern we are only having a single letter. So there is no need to update the dictionary. Till now there is no need of updation. Next is 1. Next index is 1. So 1, if you can see against 1, we are having an entry as A. So we will put here A. Pattern we have got W and A. Now see, W and A is not there in the dictionary. So what we will do, we will we will populate, we will uh, update our dictionary. So the next entry we will do is 5 and we will put this W and B. Right? Okay, let us move ahead. Then next is 2. So what is 2 here? 2 is B. So we will put B here. Now I can see he, if I consider this A and B, so this is not there in the dictionary W and A, I have already added. Now, I need to add A and B to the dictionary also. So, I will add 6 and here I will add A and B. So what we are doing every time, we are, whatever the letter we are getting after the decoding, so we are concatenating that letter with the existing pattern and then we are adding it to the dictionary. Okay. Then, if we move ahead, uh, next is what? Next is again 2. So 2 against 2, uh, again I am having B. So I will put here B. Now look at the entry. B, B. So we are having, I consider previously I am having B and uh, this new letter is also B. So it will create B, B. So what I will do, I will make this entry to the dictionary. So we are doing both the things parallelly. We are decoding the pattern as well as we are making the entries to the or we are uh, populating our dictionary. Next is 1. So what is 1? One? 1 is A. Right? So again we will move ahead. So we will consider this B and A. E, B we have already added. Now we will add B, A to the dictionary. So it will be A and B. Next we will go ahead 5. Next is 5. So again 5 what I am having? I am having W and A. So here I need to put W and A and then next I will consider next uh, next two letters. Okay. So I will consider this A and W. B and A already I have considered. Now I will consider A and W. So A and W I will make as the entry. So 9 is A. Then next is 7. So 7 is what? B, B. So here I will put B and B. And C. Next is what? X should be W and A, right? But if I can see, W and A is already there. W and A is already there. 
so there is no need to make a redundant entry right so now i'll consider three letters so i'll consider this w a p and this will be the new entry into the dictionary then would be w a p then we'll go ahead next is what seven i think we have considered nine next is nine so nine is what a w so this will be i here pattern i'll put a w and now i'll consider what w a b i have already added now we'll i'll start from b so next would be b b now see b b is already there so i i need to take one more character into it so it would be b b a now next entry would be 11 would be b b okay then it would be 3 what is 3 here 3 is o so simply i put o here now B B A or I have already considered, right? Now I'll consider A W. A W again it is already there. So I'll consider A W O. A W O is not there. So I'll make one entry 12. Last is 3. What is 3? 3 is again O. So here I'll put O. Then I'll consider these two that is O O which is not there. So I'll make one entry 30 as O. So this is the dictionary I have created and this is the pattern I have got after the decoding. So I hope we have got the same pattern what we have encoded with this. Okay. So this is the whole process of LZW uh, encoding and then how we decode it. Thank you so much.